All right, guys, so we're back here and we're gonna talk about themes, choosing a scene and setting it up. And we already talked about the theme choices. In this video, I'm gonna set up a free theme on this, on this store. You can choose a paid one, I recommend it. It's more premium, it has more features, but for time's sake, I am going to choose the free one. So here we got online store and then right underneath it says themes. Go click on that, you'll show up on a page that looks like this. All right, they give you this debut theme by default. And so what we're gonna do down here is we're gonna go view more themes and you can go visit theme store and you can browse some free and paid themes or you can go to the links I recommended in the previous video go to those direct you'll download a file and you can upload a theme right here when you purchase one of the premiums but we're gonna go explore free themes right now I, f I figure a lot of people are gonna use those and I will tell you a lot of people recommend this Brooklyn theme I actually do not like it I don't think it has very good setup and it makes your images look terrible really long and it's not really that great of an experience but for some reason a lot of people like it I'm gonna install this this theme called supply it's a free theme it looks pretty good it's got okay features they got light and, bl and blue I'm gonna choose the light style I think it looks more classy and all we're gonna do is hit add and you're gonna check out applying let's see so let's see on this action let's see what they got in here rename edit okay so if you hire a developer they're gonna go in to make custom changes they'll go in here and they will edit some code or whatever but what you're gonna do now okay so it's it's view on your store we can go view that see what it looks like we got printedpleasures.com oh wow it looks very similar that's because it's not customized i mean it's not set up nothing's set up on the front okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to hit on customize and this is when we start can start like actually making our website look original unique and brand it to our own store so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to get a logo image settings okay so i think that's this this one main here so we're, we're going to go through all these little section theme actions code and header theme settings color social media spammy con so we're going to want to set up all these i recommend just taking your time and okay so what do we got here yeah you're going to have to take your time and just go through all these settings and play with it and make it, the store look good what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video i'm going to come back when i got my store looking somewhat like how I want and then I'll, I'll talk about how what features and what buttons I click to make it look like that okay what's up guys so I wanted to add something in real quick before you before I actually had this store designed the way I want it if you're not sure what you like or what you want your store to look like I want you to head over this tool called Expirato that's probably not how you say it but uh, it's you can spy on some of the biggest Shopify stores so all you have to do is uh, go click on some some of these open them up country rebel is a is a big print on demand type store uh, they probably have their own private suppliers but that's okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at these websites when they load because my internet's slow and you're gonna get inspiration on how you want your website to look right so the idea is you want your store to look branded and you know actually look like really good so, so I don't know what this is Oh, it's loading. Okay, so a really, really slow. So look at it. they got pop-ups, Fashion Nova. So we're talking about branding your store to be unique, right? And then modeling after a, a big store to so that you know the type of layout and the type of branding that um, does well, right? So if I click on stores, okay. And then uh, free shipping. So customized jewelry, customized rings and necklaces, the gold shop, the gold shop, the gold shop. So it looks like they got some wrappers or whatever. So the steel man. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to get inspiration from these, from some of these websites. And I'll say this is probably not a good one. Country Rebel is, even though it's plain, this is what you can, if you're going to do custom printed watches from our app, you can mimic MVMT, which is cool. You can mimic these guys. If you're going to do more t-shirts and apparel, we, I don't have makeup. So I'll say don't recommend them. And we can check out some of these other ones, Gymshark and um, let's see, Sugar and Cotton, I know it's Triangle. Okay, so we can check out some of these other ones and just get inspiration to figure out what, so I hate this site, this site drives me nuts. I don't know how this site gets traffic. <laughs> Gymshark's a good website for, for um, gym clothes and Triangle's bikinis, I think, yeah. So let's check it out. So they got a big banner, which is cool. Okay, so explore men. So this is the type of the type of layout you're gonna want. You want a nice branded homepage, links to collections, and um, you want to structure your stuff. 
very similar to a site like this. What do we got? Lookbooks, the Triangle Girls, Customer Sarah, where to buy. So it looks like these girls, oh, there we got online store, new arrivals. So there we got all this. So that's kind of what I wanted to make this video about. Get inspiration from the big guys. You know, make sure your store looks good. So Lotus Leggings, let's check out them. They're probably gonna do some print on a man stuff. They're a really, really big legging store. So they got Lotus, it's like the yoga stuff. Yeah, 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 for sure. So this is a really, really cool store that you can brand or model after for your print on demand store. So we'll leave this open. What we'll do is we'll design printed pleasures to have similar look and feel to one of these top stores, okay? So I'll be back when it's completely designed. All right guys, so we're back and I just wanted to give you a short update of where I have. If you check, I'll show you here. The first thing what I did was I added an image, a banner right here under the first tab. And then I put some overlay text, style meets design, custom design watches at affordable prices. And then I put a button, shop collection. And then I linked that to that button to all products uh, page, which all you have to do is click on it. I'll show you that. Click on this, choose products, all products, boom. So that's, that's done, right? Now people are gonna call their website, they can view the products. Now I'm designing printed pleasures to be a watch store as an example, but you can do it as anything that you like, okay? And then um, I'll show you the next thing. The next thing that I did uh, was right here, watches. I set a title called watches. This is gonna show all of the products from the collection called homepage. We can change this if we want to, or we can edit the collection or, or whatever, but um, that is okay. I'll show you how to, we're gonna get products into this homepage collection in, in a little bit. I set the products per row to five products, and then I set the rows to one. So there's only be one row of five, not another, okay? And then the next thing I did, I went to the third tab. I added an image here, and I set a title, or heading, custom printed items, and then I set a little you know text right here. Now you can pair your outfit with even more style when you pair with one of our custom design watches. And then I choose a button, design, view designs, and then I also sent to the all products page, okay? And then what I did was I hit save. And now what I want to show you now is when you're getting to this section down here, all section, we're gonna do, or we can add a section. We don't wanna add a section. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the footer section around here, and we want this, this menu right here to be the footer menu, but we wanna edit that menu, okay? So we want, we want our privacy policy and all that kind of stuff to show, which we're gonna do right here. So primary menu is, we're under footer, right? So primary menu under the footer section is the footer menu. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit that menu right here, okay? So now we're on the footer menu and we wanna add, we wanna, we can leave search in there, but we wanna add privacy, right? And then we're going to go to pages and we're gonna choose the one we set up in the previous video, privacy policy, okay? And then we're gonna add another menu item and we're gonna go to terms, and then we're gonna go to pages and we're gonna do the terms of service. And now we're gonna add another one and we are going to, what is it called? I don't remember. Refund policy, refund. Then we're going to set this as pages and we got refund policy. Let me capitalize this, okay? So now we have our three important pages in our footer menu. We're gonna go ahead and save this. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to navigation. So while we're setting this up, we can go preview this on our website to see how this looks. Uh, what do we got? We got watches, now they're, now they're down here. That's cool, and if you want, you can remove this. I will show you how to do that uh, in a second. Otherwise, it's not, that, it's not that bad, you can leave it. So I got a very basic homepage, but you know what? It looks nice and looks clean. I recommend you to keep it simple at first, and then we're gonna add some products here shortly to fill in this to fill in, this in. But we have a banner, we have a go to collection page, we have the pro a couple featured products, we have a nice prime shot, and then we got our important pages. Our homepage is pretty much done, okay? So I got this image from my designer. You can get, um, you can have your designer make it your own image. This is also from our designer, but uh, I think this might be in our mock-up files for our for our app too because we have watches in our app so what you're gonna do next is we're gonna set up the, the navigation up here so depending on how you set up your website actually see this login button right here I want to get rid of this I want this to let's go to footer menu let's add login to the bottom okay so we're gonna add on we're gonna call it login 
and then we want it to be a page and maybe I'm not sure actually I think maybe we have to let's 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 attempt to add a login page so we're gonna call add a page because what I don't want is I mean we can call this login okay so we're gonna name this this might be not this might not be the, the right way to do this but let's let's see I'm not actually sure so let's view this on my online store so pages slash login so what we want to do and then if you actually go to this one account slash login okay let's let's see first if I can redirect this if that doesn't work so we're gonna go to navigation we're gonna open up navigation now and what we want to do is we want to create a redirect so your redirects we're gonna add we want to go to account login and then this one the original is pages login right the original account login pages where is it view page on the store pages login right so pages login so we're gonna go pages login and redirecting to account login we're gonna add that so now we added a redirect we added a page we added a redirect so now we're gonna put that page in the footer I know it's a little it's a little weird so here we're gonna go login okay and now we're gonna go page and now we're gonna go login and now we press add Okay, so we're gonna save that. And now we're gonna go edit our header menu or our main menu. <laughs> we have our main menu, home and catalog. Okay, so these are the two, where are we? Home and catalog. And they still show me login, which I really don't want, but I'm gonna figure out how to remove it later. Based on the way you wanna set up your website, I don't like the word catalog. It just, it just sounds boring. So I like to change it to featured products and then we can go to all products and it's okay and if you want to add another one we can go um you can say something like on sale or whatever you want to do if you don't want to have sale items it's okay you can create a collection or add it to a collection let's see let's see all collections i think we have to create a collection for sale items so we're not going to do that right now i'm just going to have the, the these two these two right there so home page is just going to take us back to the home page that, that's kind of how what we're setting up our menu items right here what we're going to do next is we're going to set up some products and they're going to fill this website out and then we'll, we're going to get we are going to get this store rocking and rolling 